Hi, this is Gavin Aliogo with you. I'll be teaching you how to use my sword Bible. How to use my sword Bible. Um, as you can see, I've already installed it on, uh, on my phone. Um, one of the reasons why I recommend this e-bible for anybody is because of the many features that comes with this e-bible my sword bible comes along with different versions different translation of the bible comes along with different commentaries different uh, bible dictionaries and many more features as you can see I've already installed it you can see if you if you go up to the uh, to the left top left you realize you get the menu where to show you which of the modules you want to use if you are going for Bible you see the Bible pick the Bible and when you come to after that you see where you can pick uh, different translations and this that comes with this Bible um, this so Bible came, comes along with translation like American Standard Version, Basic English Bible, International Standard Version, KJV, Interlinear Bible, and many more. When you go next to that, you see shows you how to navigate the Bible. When you click on that. You see, you pick your your the, the, the book you want to pick here. Let's assume we are picking the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter eleven, verse number nine. To take you there direct. See how it works. Then, if you want to check, get a commentary on this this verse of the Bible, you just open. You go back to where. We are the Bible we are at the top left corner. You touch, you click on um, commentary. You see, it gives you I to the default commentary that my CSK treasure of scriptural knowledge, where you can go to other other commentary and you click on this to bring out other commentaries for you to read you can check Clark's commentary on that verse of the scripture or you can check GFB commentary on that verse of the scripture or go for um, Adam's Clark Bible translation there too and uh, many more if for example, this same verse, you want to go back to it again. Come back to the left corner of uh, top corner of the app. Click on Bible verse to take you back to where you were before. And if you want to check on the Bible dictionary on that verse of the scripture, you click on dictionary to bring this to you to define some terms in that verse of the scripture. And um, when you click on down it brings out other dictionary for you to look at the ones that is showing take note the one that is showing green that is greenish in color it's the commentary that is available for that verse the one showing white means that there is no commentary for that verse another word let me say um take for example this amgl commentaries it's showing green it shows that there's a commentary for that verse of the scripture or in this case there's a dictionary for that verse of the scripture and um, the one showing white for take for example BD, bdp it shows that there's no commentary for that verse of the scripture that is that for the same thing with uh, with uh, other features like uh, commentaries the one showing grace shows that there's a commentary for that particular verse of the scripture and the one showing why shows that there's no commentary for that particular verse of the scripture 
um that is that for that um let's go back to our bible back to our bible if for example you um first of all aside the bible there are other features like notes where you can note a particular verse of the scripture for reference purposes um there's journal there's journals these journals is re, uh, major journals books that are written by people my short note is here there's a scriptural uh, journals and uh, there's my book journals and other journals this um, is, is a great uh, feature that comes along with this application then beside that there is also books there are a lot of books that comes along with this application a lot of books like pregrim pregrim and uh, many other books by by fathers of faith um, that is that for that then as you scroll at the top the when you are the top when the if you take for example if you take if you pick a bible if you don't want to come to this place to pick a bible to pick a translation of the bible you can scroll this way to pick the translations that are available so you see them available instead of scrolling it down um same thing with the commentary you can scroll down scroll scroll to the far left to far right top right left uh, right to view other commentaries same with other modules of this application yeah so when you come to the down part of this application there's the x arrow this arrow shows you if you want to go back to where you're coming from or this one shows you if you are going if you are going further um these ones they are very easy to use if you check them up they're very easy if you have any questions you can post it to me through my blog channel um gavin aligo's world you'll see them there then a great feature of this app which i love most is the search button i think i'll be maybe ending i mean I'll be running up yeah the search button gives you this five search feature gives you the ability to search any verse of the scriptures the major important thing for you to know is that get a word minimum of a word to search for any verse but, when, but if you want your search to be precise you can get three keywords to take you it will give you precisely where that scripture is located take for example i i was ministering the other day and i was searching for vessel of honor i just that vessel and it brought out when i click search look at what it to do bring it, to, it didn't bring out anything why because i have to be in a bible mode i have to go back to um bible mode i have to go back to bible mode Not mode. let me go back first remember i'm in commentary mode so i have to go back to bible mode for me to search a verse of the scripture to search a verse of the scripture so when i put it like this you realize it's in kjv custom and the rest i click look at what you to bring out for me what are the scriptures for me four verses of the scripture that uses this word i use this word vessel of honor but if i use the word vessel alone it will bring out thousands of scripture because i guess in the old testament there are a lot of verses there's a lot of scripture that talks about verses what i wanted actually i wanted second timothy 2 20 that says but in a great house there are not only verses of gold or silver but also of wood of it and some to honor and some to dishonor i guess i'll be running up here i want you to watch out as for other other videos on how to maximize the use of my sword bible god bless you